Good morning, Periscope. We are out on the golf cart, cruising around the yard, and we are setting out the straw bales for the straw bale gardens this year. So I just wanted to take a second and give you a sneak peek into what's coming with the 2016 Grow Your Own Challenge. Um, if you're new to us, what we're doing, we're gonna grow all of our own produce for the year, and we're gonna blog about it. So you can learn how to do it too. Um, so here I am, got the golf cart, got our straw bales. Uh, the first little garden I want to show you here, take a step. This is the kitchen garden. That's the kitchen and office of Pan 330 inside those windows. Uh, we've got a little vegetable garden we're going to do here. This will all be herbs and uh, a few other things, but all food based on necessity that you can just hop out the kitchen and grab on the go. Hey, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Just walking through our gardens we got coming up. Um, right down over here underneath the deck, uh, just outside the deck, you can kind of see some straw bales down there. We're going to do a tomato garden there. Remember, for our family, we figured out we need to grow 600 pounds of tomatoes to make all of our red sauces and ketchup, marinara, pizza sauces. Yeah, kind of cool, huh? Yeah, thanks for the hearts. So that's what we're doing. Uh, so we're just giving you a sneak peek into the gardens. Uh, our chickens gonna live there. They're not quite old enough yet. It's a little chilly. It's uh, about 30 degrees. I doubt it's even 30 actually, it's cold. There's ice all over all the standing water. So here, as we come around the corner, it's gonna be my future vineyard someday. Um, we are going to do a gourd tunnel. You guys ever seen those where look google it for me uh and what this is gonna do we're gonna do an archway with some uh with some metal you need some help i sure do uh and basically we're gonna grow um the miniature uh pumpkins and gourds and decorative stuff and it's gonna be a tunnel and all those things are gonna hang down so that's what this is we're gonna leave it big enough so we can drive the golf cart through it and of course this is our blueberry garden monrovia sponsored this for us this year we've got uh um about 15 blueberry bushes in there and in a couple years and those plants are all mature should produce a couple hundred pounds of blueberries for us but oh, almost lost a bale coming around the corner on the other side this is going to be our pumpkin patch we're going to grow pumpkins and some other vines like zucchini and things like that right over here so that's kind of the plan so what we're going to do is in a couple of weeks we're going to start conditioning these bales start breaking them down and that's going to give us a really nice medium for our plants to grow in there'll be no weeding we're going to set up automatic watering systems uh, so as a piece of cake if you're interested in learning how to straw bale garden i've got a whole series on the blog dan330.com check that out otherwise Check us out on here. Follow us. We'll keep you up to date with everything we're doing. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to get these last couple bales out and bale. <laughs> See what I did there? Bad joke. And uh, call it a day. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Don't forget to follow and share. Um, and check out our blog, dan330.com. See you there. Bye.